If you do all your work on a computer, particularly on a laptop, an external monitor can mean the difference between being organized and flipping endlessly through screens and tabs. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com, and lately I've been experimenting with a few different monitors, hoping to find one that's both clear and easy on the eyes, and good quality in a solid build, plus one that lets my work be the focus. The newest monitor I've purchased is the 32-inch Samsung 4K monitor. The model number is a mouthful, so I'll make sure it's put in the description below. In this review, I'll tell you what it's like to set up and install, what it's like to use for audio, video, photos, and documents, and whether I think it's a good pick for you. An early heads up, if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful, to please hit that like button and consider becoming a subscriber. Both those things help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. This monitor is pretty much plug and play when it comes to the setup. Just plug in the power, then use the included HDMI cable to connect to your computer or laptop. I had my Samsung monitor connected to my Apple MacBook Pro in seconds. There is only the single HDMI input, but there is also a DP connector for hooking up a PC. There's also a headphone jack and a USB port, which is only for servicing the monitor. This monitor comes with a tilt feature, but not pivot, swivel, or height adjustment. For that reason, I opted to connect it to a fabulous Kensington space-saving monitor arm that I have for my desk. This allows me to place it up and out of the way of my laptop while still keeping it centered where I want it. It can also be wall-mounted according to the user manual. The Samsung monitor supports laptops, PCs, and Macs with its single HDMI. There are no built-in speakers. One of the last monitors I tried was a very widescreen monitor, and while it was pretty dazzling to look at, it was actually a little big for my personal taste. This monitor is a 32-inch monitor, which is a little smaller than a widescreen, but still pretty big. It's actually a great size for all the different work that I do. This Samsung monitor has a great edge-to-edge -edge design with virtually no bezels on three sides and just a small one across the bottom. Cable management is decent. It's possible to run the cable down your stand for a tidier look. This model has higher resolution than your average computer monitor. With 4K or 3840 by 2160 resolution, it's designed to give you very clean and sharp views, while HDR10 content support gives you high dynamic range of vivid colors and contrast. After using this monitor for several weeks, I can say that it is very clear and sharp, very easy to read, easy on the eyes, and makes staring into a screen a lot easier. The viewing angles on this monitor are pretty good. Aside from the expected glare if you are in a very bright room, it's easily possible to see clearly both when standing or if you're shifting off to the side. There are controls in the bottom of the monitor for making any adjustments to the settings, and the buttons and the menu are easy enough to navigate. This monitor has what's called adaptive picture technology, and adaptive picture technology automatically adjusts the brightness and the color temperature depending on the light temperature and brightness, I guess you could say, in the room where you are. It uses an embedded brightness sensor, according to Samsung. Now, I couldn't see that there was a way to turn this feature on or off, so I'm presuming all of this adjustment happens automatically. Either way, I was pretty happy with the screen brightness and the color temperature whenever I was using it. There's also a few settings you can adjust on this monitor to ease eye strain. This monitor is designed for optimal eye comfort, says Samsung, with low blue light and flicker-free support, ensuring what Samsung says is a safe viewing experience. It's also possible to use picture-in-picture picture on this monitor, and it will pull one view from the HDMI input and the other from the DP or DisplayPort connection. You can choose where the insert will sit on your screen, or if you want the screen split in two, for example, or whatever the ratio is. Now, admittedly, I didn't dive too deeply into this in my couple of weeks with this monitor, since I didn't have another source to connect to it. Overall, when it comes to using this monitor for work, it is outstanding in quality. It's very clear and easy to read, it's a great size, and the edge-to-edge -edge design lets me focus on what's in front of me, not on the monitor itself. If you're shopping around for 4K monitors, this one is lovely to look into all day. It was also easy to navigate the settings, and it has the option of two inputs and the picture-in-picture -picture or split screen. Downsides? Well, there's limited movement and adjustments to the monitor if you use the included stand. This monitor, though, is a great combination of 4K resolution and affordable price.
The Samsung monitor sells for about 349 US dollars and you can get it from Amazon. If you want to read this review or reference any of what I've talked about here, head over to techgadgetscanada.com for a full write-up. There you can ask me any questions you have about this monitor. You can also, of course, post them here in comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Erin. Until the next time, you can find me on either Twitter or Instagram. I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also catch me on Facebook at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.